Spartans! What is your profession? Geralt. Geralt. Wake up. What? What? What's happening? Get up. We must go. I've saddled the horses. Siri, it's the crack of dawn. Where do you want to go? To Velen. Bald Mountain. But a few days till the Witch's Sabbath. And guess who's the guest of honor? Don't know. Enlighten me. Imlarith. We'll have no better chance to get him. Where do you get this idea? What's gotten into you? I must avenge Vesemir. The Sabbath. It's the perfect opportunity. Imlarith will be drunk among his cohorts, caught up in the revelry. He'll not expect the blow. How do you learn all this? Imlarith? The Sabbath? Avilach. He told me of those who chase us. Claims knowledge itself can tip the scales. Come. We shall talk on the way. Wait. Something I gotta tell you before we go. You know, the Emperor really wanted you found. Yennefer mentioned something. Wanted you to visit him. Why would you tell me now? Because this could be your last chance to see your... father. Think I should go? Ought to decide for yourself. But I want your opinion. Should I go or not? Probably just wants to talk. How can you be sure? What if he wants something more? Promised me he wouldn't force you to do anything. So I should go? He is your father. Pazima is on the way. I suppose we can drop in. Ready? Let's go. Your Imperial Majesty, Geralt of Rivia, and Cyrilla Fiona Ellen Rhiannon, Queen of Sintra, Princess of Bruges, and Duchess of Sutton, heiress to Innes Ard Skellig and Innes Ann Skellig, and suzerain of Atra and Abiara. Get used to it. Before long, every soul from Nilfgaard to the Dragon Mountains will kneel before you. I did not expect you to keep your word, Witcher. I always keep my word. As do I. Your reward. Thanks. Carol? Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, and that makes an even one hundred. That is all of it. Initial here. Now forgive me. I wish to speak to my daughter. Follow me, sir.
White Wolf, good to see you. Greetings, General. You had no trouble crossing the Ponta, I trust. None. I take it you crossed via the ford near Banglin? It's fortunate you did not choose to ride through Rhind, a troubled region still. Radovid seeks to breach the front in the west. But he'll not succeed. Not before the princess becomes empress and we bring order to the area. Of course. While we're on the subject, how is our future ruler? Must admit I'm curious how she'll react when she hears the throne will be hers. I venture to say she'll be delighted. You never know. Yes, of course, she's tactful, not one to celebrate an offer not yet made. But this is not the kind of offer one refuses. Indeed. Can you imagine? I thought only the wine-addled minds of bards and poets could give birth to such stories. The prodigal daughter of the most powerful ruler in the continent's history returns on the eve of his final triumph to embrace her inheritance. <laughs> Simpletons adore such stories as they do the princesses, ever beautiful and delicate who are the... Geralt, we're leaving. So nice to see you, my lady. Likewise. Time we were on our way. A shame you can't stay. I hope to continue this on another occasion. That makes one of us. Well? If he thinks he can buy me, he is sorely mistaken. By the way, that spectacle with the coin. What was that? Emperor's got lots. Couldn't see why he shouldn't share some with us. Is that what this was about? From the start? No. It's always been about you. Only you. It sure seemed like it was about the coin in there. Siri, I... If it wasn't, you shouldn't have accepted it. Say no more. I'll be over it by the time we reach Velen. Your Imperial Majesty, Geralt of Rivia, and... Cyrilla Fiona Ellen Rhiannon, Queen of Sintra, Princess of Bruges, and Duchess of Sutton. Heiress to Innes Ard Skellig and Innes Ann Skellig, and Suzerain of Atra and Abiara. Get used to it. Before long, every soul from Nilfgaard to the Dragon Mountains will kneel before you. I did not expect you to keep your word, Witcher. Ciri wanted to hear what you have to say. And she will. Your reward. Didn't come to collect on a deal. You asked me to bring your daughter here. I did just that. Siri will hear you out, then we leave. Are you sure? Never again would you need to stalk monsters while wading through sewage. I'm sure. I understand. Honor prevents you from accepting coin. In that case, a stallion, a thoroughbred milf guardian, awaits you in the stables. Treat it as an expression of my gratitude. Thank you. Now forgive me. I wish to speak to my daughter. Follow me, sir. White Wolf, good to see you. Greetings, General. You had no trouble crossing the Ponta, I trust. 
None. I take it you crossed via the ford near Banglin? It's fortunate you did not choose to ride through Rhind, a troubled region still. Radovid seeks to breach the front in the west. But he'll not succeed. Not before the princess becomes empress and we bring order to the area. Siri hasn't agreed to that yet. Yes, of course, she's tactful, not one to celebrate an offer not yet made. But this is not the kind of offer one refuses. Isn't it? Do you know any who would not like to be Emperor of Nilfgaard? Can you imagine? I thought only the wine-addled minds of bards and poets could give birth to such stories. The prodigal daughter of the most powerful ruler in the continent's history returns on the eve of his final triumph to embrace her inheritance. <laughs> Simpletons adore such stories as they do the princesses, ever beautiful and delicate brother. Geralt, we're leaving. So nice to see you, my lady. Likewise. Time we were on our way. A shame you can't stay. I hope to continue this on another occasion. That makes one of us. Well? If he thinks he can buy me, he is sorely mistaken. He offer anything specific? Yes, very specific. And thoroughly absurd. Sorry, I don't want to talk about it. Not now, at least. Won't pressure you. When you're ready, let's go.